guys, it's Googly Game with another ROM review and this time I've got the Resurrection Remix version 7 on Pi for the OnePlus 6T brought to you by Louis ROM developer. Hey, let's get started. <laughs> Resurrection Remix has made a comeback after being kind of down for some time. I have recently covered their ROM on the OnePlus 3 which working great, it's been working out really well. Now we have an unofficial version for the OnePlus 6D. Let's get started. Now first of all what you see here is ambient display is working as you can see it's uh, pretty much the same thing and we have the Louis dog. What you saw there is face unlock, face unlock is working you need to worry too much into that. Let's go to the about phone page. Before that this is Turbuche. it's not quick step. Uh, this is actually using Turbuche, which is a Lineage official uh, launcher, I believe. It's available. Let's go to the About Phone page. In the About Phone page, you can see it is a OnePlus 60, Android 9, that is Android version 9 is available. RR Pi version 7. This is the latest version which is available in his uh, domain, which is pretty cool. Fajita, unofficial beta Louis ROM. So yeah, that's basically what it is. It uses the security patches from January. The February security patches have been released, will be merged soon enough. So uh, we'll get a new version soon enough. The kernel version is 49154 which is a specific a slightly modified version of the kernel which is available with Lineage. That's pretty much it in the about phone page. Now let's talk about Resurrection Remix. Resurrection Remix is de facto one of the most feature rich ROMs. I mean it's an official version, widespread coverage for a lot of ROMs and uh, in my opinion it is probably the most successful ROM available for our device apart from maybe Lineage or uh, Cyanage and mod but again Resurrection Remix is a very very uh, popular ROM with a lot of people. So it stands to reason that uh, all the new ROMs or new phones should get that. The thing about this ROM is that it is an unofficial version. It is not officially available for 60 yet. It might be soon enough. Not really sure when or how or who will be maintaining that. Let's get to the stuff now. First of all, everything is working. I have been using this for a day now and um, I've actually used this to be extremely honest. I didn't expect it to work this well. Uh, I did try out a few other custom ROMs and OmniROM was the only one which actually worked full time for me. This one really worked. I didn't have any crashes so that is a big step in forward. I didn't have any issues with uh, applications just restarting or the phone itself restarting so I'm really happy with that. VOLT is working for although for some reason my VOLT signal is not there. It is working so you don't need to worry too much into it. Now let's get to the features now because Resurrection Remix is always all about the features. So let's get started. Resurrection Tools is where you will find all the features. First of all, clock options, you have customization for that. Net customization or the uh, traffic threshold option is available and it does work out. Uh, it also comes in the status bar and there is no option like status bar or exp extended one but I can have it. So battery status style can be customized. You can customize the style of it, although the percentage where it appears. Battery bar customization is also available if you want that. Status bar weather can be enabled and you can customize what appears. Front options are available. Now before I talk anymore, I'm using a custom front which is inbuilt with Resurrection Remix you guys know if you have been following me I love Oswald fun and Oswald fun is available in Resurrection Remix so I am using that fund so before you say it's an ugly fund fine you don't need to use it there is a normal fund available so getting that out of the way brand logo options is available which is pretty cool notification ticker is available which does work I mean because of the notch it's not the most ideal thing to have system icons can be customized and VLD icon can be disabled if you don't want that also show data disable icon and show notification count which is pretty cool it does show you you this notification count if you have more than one notification of the same application. Care label options are available, status bar gestures are available and it does work really well so I'm really happy with that. Status bar items can be customized, quick setting options are available, animations can be customized, it does have rotation and flip so you can customize that. Tile layout is available, brightness ladder can be enabled and also auto brightness can be enabled or disabled. There is sadly no option to change the brightness ladder to the bottom because I like that better. These are all the options available so there is a ton of options available so you can customize that and also the columns and all can be customized from here show label is also available which you can customize from there and in the advanced option you do have vibrate on touch which is normal stuff quick pull down is available there is no smart pull down sadly recent option you can enable slim recent apart from the uh, quick step option which is available here yeah slim recent also has a lot of applications or a lot of options here but uh, to be extremely
extremely honest i like the uh pie style quick step way better now lots of options are available where you have customization for uh the power menu should be on or off on the lock screen fingerprint unlock is available if fingerprint would have worked it would have been nice but it doesn't charging info is available face auto unlock is available which you saw in the beginning of this video bottom shortcuts can be customized i have selected it to none media cover art clock and date font size is available and also font style can be customized which is pretty cool lock screen weather options are available you can enable or disable that and the animation option you do have a screen of animation list view animation all of that can be customized toast icon can be enabled all of that is available rr configuration tab effect is available so if you when you slide down uh, swipe and customize what appears or how it appears so that's available in the miscellaneous option you do have show cpu info you can customize that as you can see it is using schedule it because it is eas weather options are available and it is using the older style weather option which is omni jaws you do have open uh, weather map and yahoo custom icon pack can be enabled and i love the google now custom icon pack which is available in play store bay clock and alarm blocker is available as a application on the system front in the interface settings uh, heads up display can be customized it can have the timeout function for two seconds or just disable that the snooze timer which is really cool dashboard options available and also configuration style can be customized this is basically for this particular menu so you can enable that you can customize that i like the tab version so it works really well now the system ui tuner you have the other stuff like uh, status bar option which we saw in the first panel apart from that do not disturb can be enabled with the volume buttons admin display always on is available which you can customize nav bar editor is available lock screen options for the lock screen shortcuts available plugin is black and that is pretty much it display size and font size can be customized it does also have the lcd display density with the numbers which some people do prefer that volume panel can be customized for the dialog timeout smart pixels are available if you want to save a little bit of battery life you can have that font option this is what i was talking about roboto is the standard font i am using oswald font because that's one of my favorite fonts available pie controls are available for those who want to use it i don't use it so that's pretty much it gesture email is also available for those who like that um i mean if you have been a fan of my channel i used to love this feature but then it kind of uh, fall into fall out of favor so it's available for those who want to use it screenshot options are available you can customize the shortcut also if you don't want that also screenshot type can be customized sound can be enabled or disabled the Michelin is option you do have floating button which is uh, this button if you want to disable that wake on plug a vibrate on usb plug three finger gesture is available but again it will scroll the screen also which is not the ideal solution smart notification sound is available which is a line feature screen on notification less annoying in call notification which will vibrate instead of a sound blink flashlight on call please keep it disabled because just keep it disabled audio panel can customization is available where you can customize what all uh, panels appear in the dialog box volume dialog timeout is also available from here in the navigation option you can enable navbar which is the normal navbar options which is available in the navigation options if you are enabling navbar you do have smart bar and fling settings that is pretty normal stuff to have you can customize what all appears in that also which is pretty cool now i am using gesture navigation which does work really well didn't have much of an issue i've been using that for a day and um, similar to oneplus's option it just that it doesn't have the last application gesture which is really really convenient that's not available but it's fine the button option you do have customization for volume rocker so it does have volume control playback and also keyboard cursor control which are the two features i look forward to in this one power menu options are available you can enable restart options advanced restart on the go mode is available long press for torch is available when the screen is off and also automatically turn off is available which is pretty cool to have and then we have the about phone page which uh, marks the end of the feature section in resection tools apart from that in the display options it does have live display it doesn't have the display modes uh, dynamic option is one of my favorite features in lineage options but uh, it doesn't have that there is automatic mode which will enable night mode and you can customize the night mode by the kelvin scale which is pretty amazing i like that it does have a great skill mode and also color calibration mode which is pretty cool to have now style options are available where you can customize the uh, theme of the rom i'm using purple with dark mode as black uh, you do also have the dark gray mode which is pretty cool also uh, automatic is available which will use your wallpaper to uh, customize how it looks so these are things which are available now font size and display size as in any other pi rom is available ambient display options are available with uh, pickup sensor and pocket mode uh, it doesn't have hand move which is kind of a surprise surprising thing font option can also be customized from here if you want to do that in the sound option you do have shortcut for preventing uh, the uh, speaker phone from turning on so that is available now playing is available now it is going to use up your battery life i didn't use it i don't typically 
be in a place where there's a lot of music uh, playing around so i never understood the requirement of this thing so yeah that's pretty much it now in the additional button settings you do have customization for the alert slider and alert slider is working so you don't need to worry about that it works as it should display modes are available where you have panel modes for night mode or one plus mode and all that the off option is basically the most saturated one and i like that high brightness mode is also available which does work and in the advanced option you do have a uh, gesture options which is pretty cool touchscreen gestures are available if you do want to have that i personally have not used this in a long time jump to camera option is also available by double tapping the power button which is pretty cool to have apart from that system profiles are available which is a lineage feature which a lot of people are using still updater is also available which uh you can see that there is a new version this is pulling out from uh the developer for this rom this unofficial series of roms uh, own personal build so uh you can get it it will dirty flash it but do keep in mind that dirty flashing this one will cause an issue with uh team win recovery so until team win recovery is fully flushed out i wouldn't suggest ota updates on this phone so and that is pretty much it in the extra features of this rom so as you can see it's a loaded rom there's a lot of features most of the stuff works and it's pretty awesome to see resurrection remix on this one it's really really good to have now the battery life of the rom the battery life of the rom uh, let's just say it's adequate i'm getting about 11 percentage of active drain and about 1.5 percentage of idle drain which is not the best on this phone I, on this phone i'm used to getting less than one percent of idle drain and about 10 percent of active drain so it's kind of is higher but custom kernels are always out there and i have heard of reports where people are using custom kernels and getting a really good battery life on custom roms not specifically this rom i'm not really sure if it supports that but hey it is available now the performance of the rom the performance of the rom at least the benchmark scores in this is pretty weird this is the first very very first run which i did with this rom so i got about 191,000 or 192,000 which is not the highest score i mean we are getting to 197,000 as an average on oxygen OS. i try to do a few runs it gets stuck at 17 percentage so i got i try to do it like six or seven times it get stuck at uh, the coastline benchmarking uh, option there was also a time where it just crashed or it just got stuck during the rendering so yeah i mean this is a thing i'm not really sure why it is happening but as of now this is the score for it so 192,000 it is now the stability of the rom i'm really happy with the stability on this rom it works really well i didn't really have much of an issue except for the benchmark application every other application which i've used on this rom worked and uh, that's not something which you can say about a lot of other roms on ones plus 60s no restarts no crashes no outright not able to make a call which i would consider still is the primary use of a phone now the camera the camera with which it comes is the oneplus camera like in cr droid it does have its caveats it works it takes decent pictures it doesn't have slow motion so uh if you tape uh, if you click on slow motion it will crash the application you'll have to restart so these are stuff which are available which you need to keep in mind now the aesthetics of the rom aesthetics of the rom is pretty decent it does have a good enough stylizer but as you can see the notifications are not black which have always made me kind of sad but uh it is what it is you can use substratum i have used substratum it works as it should so no issues there so i'm pretty happy with that one thing which i do want to mention in aesthetics is that i took a few screenshots when i was using this one uh, you can see that the notch and the the display on the status bar it kind of gets buggy sometimes uh is this is not the first time it has happened it kind of does and you can see that the uh network traffic indicator is actually behind the notch and it, it happens these are the things which you have to keep in mind when you are on a rom which is uh, just getting started on this device now the overall experience of the rom the overall experience of the rom is pretty good I came to this rom saying that or thinking that uh, i won't be able to use this because it's going to be buggy as hell but it's not it's not as buggy as i initially thought it is it is still beta but it is still a usable kind of beta it can be a daily driver if you don't want fingerprint scanner yes fingerprint scanner is still not working that's pretty much the only thing which is not up to par in any other custom rom or oxygen OS roms let me show you guys the boot animation which is actually pretty cool in a recession remix so there you have it that is the resurrection remix boot animation it's a pretty minimal boot animation it's pretty awesome i have to say that i still like the no guide boot animation with the three prongs coming up and all that which 
is still perpetually one of the best boot animation which I've seen on a custom ROM. So guys, there you have it. That is pretty much it about the Resurrection Remix and official version on the OnePlus 6T. It works. Uh, yeah, as you can see, everything was just messed up there. This happens not the first time it has happened. Yeah, it's something which will happen sometime uh, from time to time. I believe it is supposed to be something with the notch and all that, but hey, it is there. In conclusion, it's a good daily driver, more so than I initially thought. Personally, I would still stick with Oxygen OS because unless the fingerprint scanner is out, I can't wholeheartedly recommend a custom ROM as of now. So that's pretty much it about the ROMs. I hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe, and like the video if you find it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.